Alrighty, so this is a redo for project number nine. A update. Um, make sure when you are doing this that when you look at the assignment, make sure you view the view the assignment. Assignment, okay. Um, there's going to be a video normally that you can watch. It's going to give you step by step instruction on what to do, as well as there will either be a checklist like a Google form checklist or a, it will be in the instructions. OK, so it breaks down everything I need to do. I need to open Photoshop, create a new project, eight by ten and then so on and so forth. OK, what this do, is doing is teaching you how to turn in every project that you're going to do. OK, so you're going to do the same thing. So instructions go to file open new project or when you first open it it might say create new okay over here on the right hand side i want to change this to inches and i'm gonna change my size to an eight by ten this is basically creating your canvas all right so boom you notice a blank sheet of paper came in all right the second part is uh i should have titled it project number nine i can go ahead and do that right now i can save as I'm going to save it to my computer for right now. I'm going to make sure I save it to my pictures folder. Okay. And I want to name it um, Project 9. Okay. Or title it Number 9 Layers. Something to let you know that this is number 9, the ninth project. That way, when you turn it in, it's easy to find. Okay. So that's the first few steps that you're going to do every project. So if it was Project 10, you would do the same thing. Project 11, you do the same thing. Okay. All right, so now my next thing for this project is to import a picture. I'm going to go, there's multiple ways to do things in Photoshop. I'm gonna go to File, I'm gonna go to Open, open it as a smart object, all right? And then from there, I'm just gonna go to wherever my pictures are, they should be saved on in my folder that says Pictures. But I'm gonna go to Stock Photos for right now, and then I'm just gonna import um, one of these pictures right here. Let's see, this picture of Kobe. I'm going to import this picture or open up this picture. All right. So now I got this artwork that I made of Kobe, right? So notice I have three different things open. This is what I was working on before, but this is what I just opened. And this is the picture I just imported. There's two different ways that I can take this picture and put it onto my blank canvas. The first thing is I want to grab this move tool. Very important tool. You're going to use it. Make sure show controllers are on. That way, if I needed to change the size, I can. And then I'm going to go to this top bar where everything is stored. I'm going to left click hold and pull it off to the side. Once I do that, I'm going to now left click and hold onto the photo and just drag it and drop it. And now I have moved a photo onto my blank canvas. OK, so that's the first way to do it. Um, the second way to do it is you can copy and paste it. OK, so for example, I can go to this selection tool and I'm just kind of this. Even though this is not part of the assignment, it's just good to know. I can um, go to the selection tool, basically left click, drag, and make the square the shape that I want to keep it, and I can copy and paste it, all right? So I can go to edit, copy, then I go back to my project, and then I go to paste. So now I have copied and I've pasted, okay? So I go back to my move tool, I can arrange it, I can change the size. Um, if I want to move this one, I got to make sure I go to layers. These two things are on two different layers. So notice how the get started now looks like it's on top of the Kobe picture. That's because the layer is on top of this layer. If I wanted Kobe to be on top of that, I just move the order. Now notice how Kobe's picture is now on top of the words. OK, so layers are very important. And that's part of the main part of this project is to understand what a layer is. OK, so I like the way that looked the other way. I'm going to drag and drop it. Now I got this on top. All right. So. We've imported a picture that was point number four, point number five. You're going to use the text tool and type words that represent you. All right. So over here, you have your T for text tool. You're going to left click on it. And I want you to type just six different words. OK, so I'm going to start off with my name, Mr. Green. That's one word. All right. Notice when I did that, it created this own layer for Mr. Green. OK, so. You want everything to be on different layers. That way, if you don't like something, you can get rid of it. Okay, so now I'm gonna type another word. Um, um, awesome teacher. Awesome. So that's my second word. And then um, let me move it to wherever I wanna place it. Go back to the move tool, move it over here. 
then I go back to the text tool and I'm just gonna type one more word. Since I already got get started now, I'm gonna just type in cool. All right, so these are some of my words that I'm using, right? And again, notice I have to go back to my move tool. So we're learning about our move tool in our toolbox over here. And we're learning about our type tool. So those are the two tools that we're using right now, okay? And again, remember, if I wanna select something, I gotta go to the layer, okay? So I go over here, click on the layer, now I can adjust the cool, and so on and so forth. All right, so let's just fast forward. Say I've already typed all my words in. The next thing, number six, is you're gonna experiment and add different layer styles to each word. So what that basically means, okay, I'm gonna click on the letter, the cool word, right? I like to go back to this T tool and I like to highlight it, all right? So once I highlight it, I can go back up here. This is like a shortcut to all of the options you have. So I can change my font and get like a, a different letter. So notice how as I scroll over, these are the different letters that I can use. All right, so I want you to change every word, make sure each word has a different font, all right? Um, you don't know what you can do until you know what you can use, right? So, boom. So I just changed the font, and again, I'm gonna go to this word, make sure I select it. I'm gonna change it to a different font and just make it look interesting. Any, any of the letter styles that I like, right? All right, I go back to the Move tool, then I go back to the Selection tool, and again, I can double click, left click, twice to highlight it and then again i can go change my letters to whatever i want okay so uh i can go different languages if i really wanted to okay and just spell it out accordingly all right so let's just choose one so these are the three different uh fonts that i've changed let's go back to the mr green word layer styles down here, right underneath layer styles, you're gonna see a button that says FX, okay? That's your layer styles. So click on the FX button, and then a drop, a pop-up menu is gonna pop up. Go to, let's start with by level emboss, okay? What that's gonna do, notice how it made the letters kinda look 3D, okay? Um, all of these knobs, they adjust the depth, they adjust the size, the color, all of that stuff. So what you have to do right here at this point is just experiment, okay? All you're doing is experimenting with this project, honestly. You're trying to learn what you can and cannot do. Photoshop is a whole bunch of dragging and dropping and just experimenting, okay? You're just creating, all right? So I did, I made it 3D, and again, there's another drop-down menu. I can experiment and see what happens when I go to the pillow and balls, when I go to the stroke and balls, all these different options to create different cool-looking imagery, okay? So I like that one. I'm going to keep that there. Let's go to the next layer style, which is called a stroke. Notice how the stroke puts an outline uh, around the letter. So if I wanted to make the outline even thicker, I can go like that, adjust it. It's really up to you, okay? Have fun with it, be creative. If I ever need to change the color, click on that little color box, go choose the color that you like, adjust it to the exact color that you want. You can see where it says new color and the current color, okay? If I like this dark blue, I press okay, and then notice how it has adjusted it. Also, sometimes the box will pop up on top of your artwork. I like to drag it to the left or the right. That way I can see what I'm doing when I make the adjustments, okay? So all of these different things, you can add an inner shadow. If you wanted to change the color, I, this is one way I could change the color. I can go to color overlay and change it, or you can go to gradients and change it. Um, Gradients are kind of cool because it makes like smooth blending. It has presets. So you just really experiment with it, have fun with it. Uh, they have patterns as well. Sometimes you can download different patterns, but you have water, grass, trees. You just click on it, press OK. You can change if you want it to be more see-through. So it's just so many options in Photoshop. If you've ever used PixArt, this is like PixArt on steroids, okay? The biggest thing is you can do anything that you want to do. You can almost create it exactly like you want. All right? so. Each word, I want you to experiment with different layer styles, okay? Once you're finished, you're done with this project. At this point, all you gotta do is save it and turn it in, okay? So you're gonna have your picture that you've taken, and then you're gonna have your different words, ex you know, expressing who you are or just cool words. Make it interesting, make it fun, adjust it, make it look visually good. Once it looks visually good to you, from that point, all you have to do is go to File, once you go to file, you're going to go to save as, all right? It's going to say apply the transition. Go apply. 
save on your computer, and then you should already have it named PSD. So the biggest thing between PSD, and you're gonna always hear me explaining this, is PSD is gonna allow you to continue to edit, but you wanna save this one as a JPEG. JPEG is the same format that's on your phones and that they use to like do Instagram. It's more universal, okay? So once I save it, it's asking me, do I wanna replace it? I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. It's gonna have this menu where it says JPEG option. Just if, I, if it was too big and I needed to make it small, this is how I would make it small, but I usually keep it right there at eight, press okay, and then boom. From there, you're done. All you have to do is go back to Google Classroom. Yours looks a little different than mine's just because um, I'm the teacher and I created the class, but over here, you're gonna see something that says turn in. That's where you're gonna turn in. Press add as an attachment. Then you, it's gonna give you the option to browse. And then you just go to your pictures and add it and turn it in, and then you will be done. All righty, just all, like always, if you have any questions, let me know. And this is the end of this video.